Kylie Jenner fires her longtime assistant after she liked a Jordan Woods photo, and Kylie is not here for any more Jordan Woods drama. And you guys, did Haley Bieber hit up divorce lawyers? Yeah, we've got to tell you. And Tristan Thompson is trying to weasel his way back into Chloe's life. You've got questions, we've got answers. It's all coming up right now on Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week here at the fabulous Pearl's Rooftop. I'm Madison Conklin. I'm Madison Hill. And I am Courtney Revolution. Cheers, everyone. We've got yes. a lot to get into. Let's yes. sip and let's spit the game at you. What? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Kylie Jenner is on a busy week. Um, so, you guys know Victoria is her friend assistant kind of stepped in the uh, place of Jordan after mm. Jordan was exiled. Absolutely. She's been in the picture almost, I don't want to say as long as Jordan, but she came into like second best. Yeah. She interned with Chris mm. and then Chris was like, why don't you go be Kylie's assistant slash best friend when she needs one? And the friendship was born. Okay. Cool. But it's open. And the friendship got um, stronger when Jordan was exiled. Yeah. But now we can tell you exclusively Holly Scoop. We have a source that told us as of March 15, <laughs> Yes. Victoria has been fired huh. by Kylie, mother up and Jenna. I was shook when I heard this. One, just because she's been around for so long, and two, I'm like, okay, Kylie is doing a mass exodus of everyone from her life, just cutting Good people stuff. off one by one. I'm not surprised because, I mean, which one of the Kardashian friends are telling all of the news outlets all of their business? I might I need to clean house as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm it's just not saying. us. Not just, no, not y'all. I'm just saying. I just find it very strange that right. there's always some source coming out from between the Kardashian lines spilling the tea. So which right. one of y'all is it? Well, you know what's even weirder? As of March 15th, Victoria's fire date, she happened to like a picture of Jordan Woods on Instagram. Mm. Coincidence? I think not. No, I'll and sit. whenever this <laughs> happened, we had all these theories as to why Victoria would have the guts to basically kind yeah. of go against Kylie and like Jordan's picture. We're like, maybe Jordan and Kylie actually are getting ready to mend their friendship. We know that's not true. Yeah. Maybe Victoria's jumping ship. Maybe that is actually true. Now, now that we, we know, know that this firing has happened. Yeah, I think it's just a little too weird that, you know, the day she was fired, she liked that picture, so was it in, like, retaliation against Kylie? I mean, mm. I don't think an Instagram, like, could be that big of a deal, but well, it could see, be. I think it's like what celebs do on Instagram is so telling because we've yeah. talked about this. Mm -hmm. They can't come out. Victoria's not gonna be able to come out for a long time and be like, yeah. my relationship's over with the Car Jenners. She's gotta keep quiet. So the fact that she gave Jordan Woods a double tap, I think was her confirmation of like, I'm out and now I'm that about to like drop the truth middle bomb. Finger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you, think? you know what I think? I think that I would not be surprised after hearing about Jordan setting up all of her new deals. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Victoria and Jordan overseas up in the Dubai breaking into new markets. Stop. That makes is, so much sense. Jordan is coming up. She's going to need a little help. And let's be real. We already know Victoria's already been around. That's she's true. been in the game. She got out. She and already she, helped someone become a billionaire. And, she's well, already, she, and she had a tougher time probably with Kylie because Kylie's much more famous than yeah. Jordan. Mm -hmm. So that makes so much sense. Victoria like and Jordan kind of have the same idea of what the car Jenners are really like and yeah. now they can sort of do their own thing separate. Take oh. what they learned and use it to help themselves. Co-writer, tell all book because I'm reading. <laughs> and speaking of Jordan and Victoria and all the drama, Kylie Jenner is over it. She has wow. made zero progress in reaching out to Jordan. They haven't even spoken since yeah. that table talk. Mm. All according to TMZ. I think this is the biggest, I guess, piece of information that we've gotten this week because previously we've heard you know, Kylie has learned she can't function without Jordan. She wants yeah. to forgive Jordan eventually in the future. So the fact that now we've heard, you know what, she's come to terms with the fact Jordan's out of her life. Mm. Jordan really did betray Chloe. She's not here for it. She doesn't have time for it. She wants, you know, Jordan to come get her stuff. Yeah. And they can go their separate ways. I kind of feel like Kylie is one of the more mature women of the Kardashian. She family. is maturing even more. Yeah. I feel like through this situation, she's mm -hmm. had to grow up because all eyes have been on her and they're like, what, what move is she going to make next? Yeah. And so she can't be petty and immature, like maybe something I would maybe even do okay. if I'm being honest. <laughs> like she can't do that, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I think the security clearance thing, taking her off was a little petty move, but now she's gotta let her back in and come get her I would've, I mean, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that Kylie is even going to be home? when Jordan comes no. to pick up her bag. If anything, no. she's going to be plastered up against the window, but it's going to be so tinted, you can't see her. She'll be like, mm. I think she's going to have... That's fine. Oh, she's taking it. <laughs> That's whatever. Story. She's taking it. No. Whatever new assistant is in her life is mm. about to facilitate that because I think Kylie just wants her to come get her stuff. They can go their separate ways and mm. it's over. I, yeah, I really don't think Kylie wants to have like a sit down by her pool with yeah. like two yeah. glasses of water with lemon. They're not going to no. have their own red table talk. No red table. No red table <laughs> situation. Not. It's yeah, yeah. over. It's done. It's kaput. Also, we gotta kiss that. Kylie has moved back. on with so many other friends, like Heather Sanders. Um, mm. Who is she? Tiffany Soria. Thank you. So 
Kylie is over that. Now, we're over it too. Let's move on to Haley and Justin. So this is <laughs> okay. a little, this is a little I'm gonna need scary. a drink in preparation for this because yeah. they yes. had so much drama of, this week. There's a lot going on. So there. much. So many divorce rumors swirling, so many breakup rumors, so much like this marriage is doomed rumors. And yes, we've been reporting that to you because that's what the headlines are saying. And now there was a headline this, headline this week from The Mirror saying that Haley has talked to legal counsel mm -hmm. about like anticipating a divorce. I don't like that. I don't like it, but I'm at the same time, these sources that spoke to the mirror said she's not doing it because she wants to serve Justin divorce papers right now. Obviously, he's going through a hard time. We've talked about that at length. Mm -hmm. She just kind of wants to know what to expect, know how to protect herself mm -hmm. in the future should something happen. Being that there's no prenup, I say, mm -hmm. Haley, protect yeah, yourself job. and your coin. Because she has money. No, she, she does. She has money and she comes from money. She does. Here at Justin's money. So she needs to know what she's entitled think, to. Yeah, yeah I don't <laughs> even think she's that kind of person, mm -hmm. but I think she just wants to know. I mean, think about how publicized every mm -hmm. piece and every step of the way of their relationship has yeah. been. I think she just wants to know how she can put up a shield should she need to. You know what I think? I think that that Vogue Cover. And that Vogue mm -hmm. cover was the best and worst thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I we agree. needed Justin to sort of come forward and explain himself and sort of give us like a retrospect of what's been going on. But ever since that moment, we have been having the Beavers under a microscope because there have been so many things that have come out since this interview. It almost yes. backfired how honest they were. Because like, yeah. we had these trust issues, we have past relationship problems, I had all these, I have these depression and anger issues from my childhood. And, and now people have just been like, and magnify and Madison yeah. and Courtney with that like I feel like because it's just such a short amount of time that they've been married and they were so honest like at least if it was three years from now and they're like at the beginning of our marriage we had trust issues yeah. like we didn't right know, but we, we fixed through them. it yeah. but now they're in we the are. thick of fixing it and we're all here like okay what's the next move gonna be and we've all got to say exactly we've all got to say and we've all got an opinion because they put it out there and, and they also haven't given us that wedding ceremony yet they push it back a fourth, fourth time, time this week and planning is on an indefinite hold so for me I'm like I need to see it to believe it, and right now I haven't seen it. Will they and you don't they? believe it. Yeah. No. Mm. I don't know. And I just hate that it has been such a short amount of time and that they're already having this amount of like trouble. I don't know. Haley's <sighs> trying. I feel like she Haley's every doing interview well. she does and Cheers she tries to, to make Instagram messages and she tries to fight off the haters, but unfortunately she can't help it. People just come. The beavers yeah. got their foot on her neck. And unfortunately, yes. I feel mm -hmm. like I sometimes have my foot on her neck, but Ooh. I always say I think she is a loyal wifey and she doesn't deserve half the crap she gets. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree. And you know who else? Our foot wants to be on their neck. Ooh. Tristan Thompson! Oh, yeah. oh, my foot staying on his neck. <laughs> I was like, I don't uh -uh. think mine has gone off in. since before True's birth. It's oh. been there the, the entire time. has collapsed. Okay. The trachea has collapsed. <laughs> okay, Period. so. Chloe has seemingly got over Tristan finally. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, but now that Tristan's, you know, Cavalier season is coming to a very because they've bad been end. really bad. They're really bad. Um, Tristan now wants to become like, hey Chloe, I'm back and I'm here and I'm 100 percent dedicated and wants to take her on a romantic vacation this according to Hollywood life. She could take herself on her own romantic vacation. How about her that? Her and True have gone on countless romantic vacations. I also just vacations. don't understand <laughs> how now all of a sudden he feels this regret. So I'm like, no regret when you were making out with girls in the club. No regret when you were making out with girls after Super Bowl and during ESPYs and all of this stuff. Now, all of a sudden, you have a soul and feel remorseful? I'm confused. See, I looked at my crystal ball and I said this not too long ago that we <laughs> knew that Tristan was going to come crawling back just like Lamar Odom, uh -huh. yep. begging for Miss Chloe. And you know what? I hope Miss Chloe is a little bit too busy for that. I'm a little nervous, though. I'm, I'm a little we nervous. We know Chloe. And the thing that makes me more nervous is that According to these reports, he's been FaceTiming her every day to speak to True, mm. to see True. But in the midst of that, Chloe and him have been conversing, and I feel like Chloe's heart is very big and it's like mended, but it's at the point where like, hey, there's still an open gap I can get into. Right. You know? And that tells me that's very manipulative. Because yeah. she has even come Tristan out on Twitter Thompson this week. Is a manipulative no. But you know what Look I mean? Look at all the roster women he has. Yeah, exactly. and she said, she's like, yes, I would do it all again because I got true. He knows that, so therefore he's like, what's the one way I can weasel my way back in? Through true. We've got true, we don't need a round two, round two true. Okay. Yeah. Not with him at least. Like thank God Not that he's him. FaceTiming true, like we need that. I agree, because we've, we've dragged we him a lot. We want him to be a father. Yes. Dragged him a lot we just don't that. want him with Chloe. Yeah, no, absolutely. We don't need you with trash. Yeah. I think he <laughs> don't need it. I think deep down he doesn't even want to be in a relationship. So I don't mm -hmm. know why he's fooling himself. He just yeah. wants he is someone playing to, himself. You know. <laughs> hey. 
Exactly. Well, you can have that without being in a relationship. True. True. <laughs> you don't need to, he doesn't need to be with Chloe in order to have that again. He wants a home base because he really wants someone that's going to care about him, I think. You think? And Chloe is oh, that woman, God. but sometimes, just like JoJo said, you know it's just a little too late. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that was a great throwback. Okay. Thank you, I absolutely needed that. And Courtney, with that beautiful <laughs> JoJo reference, we are going to close out this week's Holly Scoops Moments of the Week. Mm -hmm. You guys, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a beat. And we want to say thank you to Pearl's Rooftop yeah. and their brunch <laughs> special of Cortage Champagne and their little mimosa kit. It is so delicious. Cheers, we guys. We all know I love champs. Yeah. And we'll catch you next week. Bye.